hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another video i hope you're doing very well so today i'm here to do another makeup inspired by um an album cover so today i'm going to be talking about um an album which is pretty probably my favorite album of all time although it's quite difficult to choose my favorite album of all time but this is one of them and it's by my favorite band of all time <laughs> so if you couldn't tell by the title or the picture hopefully um yeah, I'm going to be doing a makeup inspired by Houses of the Holy, which is by Led Zeppelin. So in case you don't know who they are, they are a classic rock band. I guess, yeah, you call them classic rock band because they were around in like the late 60s, throughout the whole of the 70s and just at the end, just at the beginning of like the 80s, basically. Um, and they are my favourite band of all time. If you know me, you know how much I love them. Um, you know how much they mean to me if you don't i've made a video <laughs> based on um just my love for them and obsession i always talk about them pretty much nearly every not every one of my videos but a lot of my videos um but yeah today i wanted to like for a while i've been like oh, i really want to do one of their album covers but i just didn't know which one to do because so many of them are really um they're not strange they just don't really have a kind of solid colour palettes to them where well, I thought with this one because it's quite a gradual orange yellow and white I thought I would just try and do a makeup look like that um I'm gonna start off with the eyes I just need to double check where I've put my sellotape because I'm gonna need to um add them on here and I'll just be right back Okay, so I've just put down some sellotape on my eyelid because that's my thing now. <laughs> Basically, whenever I want to just like do a makeup look that I think will be more beneficial if I start off with the eyes um, and add sellotape to it because it's going to be a bit more um, defined. And I guess with my eye primer as well, I feel um, it will do a better job. So like I've shown you guys, that is the album cover. Um, it's really funny because the reissue um came out about a year or no, about almost two years ago i think so there's been multiple reissues with these albums because jimmy page likes to keep busy <laughs> he's the guitarist of the band and kind of the guy who created the band um he um basically keeps on like he keeps on remastering the same albums again and again and they have essentially like seven eight albums um and yeah, they've been reissued about <laughs> four times. I've like remastered like different versions, um, which I guess is a way to make money because I have these albums. I have all the albums on like three different formats. I have them on um, vinyl. I have the, all, all the vinyls are like remasters, so they're not actually like the original ones. So I don't have like thousands of pounds to like spend on them because that's what they're worth. Um, and then. There was the CDs which I bought when I first got into them and then now I have them all in remasters as well. I mean it's a busy it's a busy expensive life <laughs> being a music fan basically. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use the Beauty Bay Brights palette. I used this when I did my Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon um, album cover because it had all the colours that needed to be for the um rainbow essentially and with this album you've got like three colors <laughs> you've got orange yellow and white so i have all of these colors again so shimmer orange matte yellow and then the white shimmer which is gonna i think it's a shimmer um it's not really a shimmer but i might be able to add some um like highlighter or something down just to kind of make it look a bit popping right i'm gonna move this over because the mirror is just in the way and i'm really sorry about the lighting is because um i'm filming about half past five in the afternoon and it's london so it's gone dark super early <laughs> so i'm taking one of my eco tools and i'm taking the shade uh orange soda because that is the orange and this like i said this is a shimmer not that it matters but i just do it's a makeup inspired by the album cover so it's not essentially um gonna be perfect obviously because it's such a 
it's an interesting album cover like it's one like i said it's like my favorite pretty much like my favorite album of all time um it's got the rain song which is uh, i would probably call my favorite Les Zeppelin song um and i guess i don't think it's better than all the others because there's no way that i would ever put them all in like a category of being like the best or whatever but i just feel like this album just it's kind of a mixture of moods, so I feel like if someone ever said to me, oh, what album should I start off with? I would just kind of go start from the beginning and make your way to the end. But if you're in a certain mood, um, I believe that you would want to listen to like a certain album. Like, this is me just being uber geeky, if you don't care, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but if you want something heavy, then the first album is definitely heavy. And then they kind of towards the second and third they go quite mellow so if you feel like you're in a bit of a acoustic version or something a bit slower than the second and third album for sure and then when you get to like the fourth and then kind of onwards they do get a little bit heavier but then they still have moments of just being quite slow and just being really nice and melodic um yeah i'm just obsessed with them basically i've like i was calculating it um, last night that the I've, I've start I've been listening to them si well since I was 16 so that means ugh, I've been listening to them almost 17 years now and to have a band that prominent in my life is just insane because they are one of the only bands that I talk about on a daily basis <laughs> I think about on a daily basis um, I'm going in with Hello Sunshine which is the yellow and that's going to be started to be blended in. I'm going to take a fluffy brush actually because um, it starts to kind of blend in as opposed to just being solid. Um, yeah, so I mean, like I said, I've spoken about them on my channel so many times. And if you know me personally, you would know like my obsession, basically. <laughs> I don't need to really like talk about it as much. But um, yeah, this album just is so great um <laughs> yeah this album like i said it's got its mixtures of like heavy songs but really slow songs at the same time uh like rain song is a very slow song but then you have like it starts off with a song called um the song remains the same which is the name of the t-shirt but this is like the live concert that they did there's like there's like 20 years of almost like 20 years of history when it comes to them so well, they they broke up in like early 80s because their drummer died, John Bonham died. Um, and they, I believe, did like the right thing by kind of breaking up. But obviously they've done one reunion gig, which I never went to because I didn't have like £200 at the time to afford to go. And it was obviously in the O2, so it's not like it's a stadium gig. Well, it's kind of a stadium gig, but um, yeah, it's very difficult to get tickets at the time. Um, and they've done like Live Aid. <laughs> no one really wants to talk about Live Aid when you're a Zeppelin fan, to be honest. Even though I think they did okay. Phil Collins did a good job. Um, if you don't really know much about the history, then just watch their performance. It's not the best. Um, <laughs> but it's not the worst. I mean, well, it probably could be the worst, but it's not Phil Collins' fault. So he did good. He did all right. Um, yeah, so this yellow... It's kind of blending in with the orange. I need to, I think I need to find an orange that's a bit more, because, I mean, let me mix them together. I don't think that will be a good idea if I mix them together, but it should, because when you look at the cover, it like blends into it. Um, but we're just having fun, to be honest. This is just another reason for me to talk about the band, <laughs> really. Um, okay, I guess that's looking, I'm so sorry about the lighting and everything, it's such a dark day outside now and I know I, can, I filmed quite late, but that's because I work in the day so I could not film in the daytime, but let's get um, the white, I've not actually tried this white before so I'm not sure how matte it is, but it's called White Lies, so let's see how pigmented it is, it looks quite pigmented when I um get it on the brush and I'm just going to tap because I don't want it to be too much although it is a lot of there's kind of like the blending in it okay 
yeah it's come out quite nice I don't have to be too careful but I'm just blending in oh yeah I think I didn't think I finished my story about um, why Facebook banned the album cover so basically when the remasters came out um it's got pictures of like kind of young kids on it which are naked they're not young kids I mean yeah now that I'm saying it out loud obviously that's a bit weird but it's like an album cover um and yeah Facebook banned it I think it was just Facebook so when people were trying to like find pictures of it I don't know why you look on Facebook for it but if they were like advertising it on Facebook or something they would ban that image <laughs> and I'm like okay I get it but the album's like came out in the mid 70s and they haven't um they're not gonna change it they're not gonna ban it and I'm not saying it's right to do that but I mean it's, it's an old album <laughs> you're not really gonna get away with like banning it the cover now but Facebook are weird like they like to ban whatever they want whenever they want so they can do that um right I think I might add some highlighter into the corners so I think I'm done with the palette um let me get my highlighter which I'm gonna use um for an inner corner just so it makes it a bit more pop pop um Okay, so I'm using the Makeup Obsession uh, Cosmic Crystals Highlighter in the shade Fade. And this I purchased last week, but it is freaking gorgeous. So nice. And I'm bringing it up just so, oof, probably a bit of fallout on my face, that's okay. Just to make it a bit more brighter. Wow, that's come out very bright. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool. I will put up proper pictures on my social media. I'm really sorry that the lighting is so bad. I apologise. One day I will get it right. And especially in the evening. Okay, right. I'm almost done with the eyes. I wanted to do something quite special, but I wanted to put my base on first. So I'm going to put on um, just foundation and the rest of the face. And then put on some eyelashes because I'll show you guys before I put it in but I went um shopping the other day and I went to Superdrug and they had these amazing eyelashes <laughs> Marge Simpson eyelashes so I will be testing this and yeah I'll finish off with the eyes um on camera and I will be right back all right I'm back and actually these lashes are quite decent the glue is pretty shit it I tried to take it out and it was just like gloop um but these lashes are quite decent I got them for three pounds in Superdrug and I'm pretty sure you can get them um on the Superdrug website as well the corners are, are going a bit up but everything else like it settled in really quickly I don't know but yeah this is really good um I got the rest of my base on and I wanted to finish with an eyeliner I know I shouldn't I, I should have done an eyeliner before my lashes but I want to do something out here. So, um, just a little backstory, Zeppelin. They, ooh, there's four members in the band. Each member has like a rune that is kind of dedicated to them. Um, <laughs> it's, it's weird because they, um, a lot of their music, a lot of people would be like, oh, it's very like devil music and all that stuff. Because Jimmy Page, like, I think he just messed around with them and said, yeah, we're like, <laughs> and not a, it's not a cult stuff but like the stuff that I listen to is for the devil and stuff like that but yeah they they all have like runes and Jimmy Page's one his is essentially like a zoso so it says z-o-s-o -O. I don't know what it means um but I want to draw it right here because I want it to look like it's part of the flick of the eyeliner so <laughs> I'm gonna hold my breath in while I do this and I'm hoping it will work I should have done it before my eyelashes but I had already um, started so um, let's do this wish me luck apologies for the noise I again live in the most noisy neighborhood in the world oh my god this country I swear to god is just constant noise 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 so let's get this down I don't want to make it like too crazy 
So if you can't see, oh, almost. <laughs> I'm getting there. And then it goes with a line. Right, I tried to do it. My, the nib is really like flimsy um, but we're going to finish off the lips because I think I've already embarrassed myself enough um, so I'm going in with the Fenty, um, Fenty uh, lip liquid lipstick in the shade Unmatched it's part of the Christmas collection which is gorgeous this came part of like a set of two and I just wanted to use this because it's such a nice colour really so let's get this on Plus, I don't have any orange lipsticks, so I would have used that. <laughs> but I do then. Okay. I just made it look like a mess. But this is the finished look. This is me attempting to um replicate like an album cover with an eye look um let me get the album again sorry <laughs> it's here it's hiding um i mean you can see there's like a gradual gradualness to it sorry my face is like super close um but yeah this is the finished look please let me know what you think i'm really sorry to other fans out there if i've completely butchered this look but I can only work with what I got. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about the background noise. Oh my God. One day I will live in a quiet neighborhood. Hopefully one day. But thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. Um, yeah, and that's it really. Listen to Zeppelin if you haven't. They're like the greatest fucking band in the whole world. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad I discovered them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.